Today on Don's Cobra Show, I rebuild an output shaft for a Jaguar Series 2 XJ6 differential. Essentially this video is just a continuation of the differential rebuild video. I'm just separating it out in case someone has to only replace this oil seal in here, uh, then they don't have to watch the whole rebuild video. For this job you're going to need two of National Seal 471868. You're going to need four of Timken SET17 bearing sets. You're going to need two RTC1348 crush collars. You're gonna need two National 148 O-rings. You're gonna need two JLM556 locking tabs, unless you reuse the old ones. If you're replacing the output shaft bolts, you're gonna need eight JLM442 bolts. Some cars did use a larger diameter seal. That one would be National Seal 472572. Now if you're just changing out the seal and you're going to reuse your crush collar and your locking tab and your bearings, make sure you mark on the nut and the locking tab where it's bent up. That way you can return it to its original position. If you're replacing all of it like me, there's no need to mark it. I'm going to go ahead and use a vise to support the brake caliper bracket while I drive out the two races, the outer bearing and the seal. The threads on my output shaft bolts are pretty chewed up, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the bolts. If you're only going to pound these out to repaint the output shaft and you're going to use the bolts over again, put a nut on these threads to protect the threads. Looks like this o-ring is already split in half. If yours is still whole, use a pick or a small screwdriver to pull it off. I'm going to clean the brake caliper bracket and the output shaft up, and I'll be right back. Now we can take two of our bearing races and drive them in. You're going to want to oil or grease these bearings up really good before installing them. They're not going to see lubrication again until you start making turns in your car. The outer bearing can go in. Go ahead and oil the seal up, then drive it in.
Now it's time for a crush collar and your next bearing. For some reason the locking tab from XKS had two fingers in it instead of one finger like the original. So we can either cut one off or just use the original. We're going to go ahead and put our locking tab and our nut on. Now we're going to clamp the flats of the outside of the output shaft into a vise. Now we're going to use a very large adjustable wrench to tighten down this nut to crush the crush collar and get zero end flow. Perfect. Once we end up at zero end float, we're going to pick which tab lines up with the flat on the nut the best. Go ahead and put your O-ring on. One down, one to go. I rebuilt the other output shaft assembly off camera. Now it's time to install them on the differential. It doesn't hurt to put a tiny bit of oil on this O-ring. The manual is not going to tell you to do this, but on just about any metal mating surface that I come across, I like to put a little skim coat of silicone just for some extra insurance. Now normally when I'm installing bolts, I like to have a nice even torque pattern. These ones you're actually going to have to install one at a time and just get them a little bit snug. Otherwise when you go ahead and spin this flange to get to the cutout to install your next bolt, you're going to catch on that bolt head. Use the front yoke to rotate this cutout to whatever bolt hole you're working on. Torque spec on these bolts is 35 to 40 foot pounds. Now all that's left to do here is safety wire these bolts together. I would love to cover safety wiring here, but that really should be its own video, so I'm going to save that for another day. Now these output shaft assemblies and the brake caliper mounting brackets are pretty similar, but they're not identical. This mounting bolt is not exactly centered in between these two threaded bosses that the brake caliper mounts to. This center bolt is going to be closer to the threaded boss on top. Or if you have your differential flipped upside down like I do for rebuilding purposes, it's going to be closer to the bottom.